Hey guys, I've got a real cool one here I'm going to work on. I'm going to show you what I'm working on here in just a second. Got to fire up the old oil burner and uh, get it get it running. Well, that used motor oil burner saves my butt. Keeps this big shot for practically no cost at all. And you can see the very tiny that's a three-quarter fitting, so you can just imagine the tiny film of oil going through there. Sitting in the shop is an old Winnebago, sort of. Um, this is a former Winnebago, I guess you call it. Now, here's what we've got. We've got this cut off. This was the driver's door area, as you can see by the channel right there. And then you've got all the windows they built a rack on the back for like barbecue pits and things on it and tie downs and uh if you think what i built to pass is hillbilly this takes the cake so what we're going to do is we're going to be tearing it apart um sort of what we have is a rv that is in need of a lot of work we're going to be removing the propane tank off of it there is metal work a little bit and, and we're not going to be nice about this a uh, little bit of metal work a little bit of metal work there uses a believe it or not a 5,000 pound capacity four bolt now there's some massive lug nuts on it but four all right now to give you a little more detail what I'm talking about in this video and I'm gonna cut this part in and then I'll finish the video you'll see the interior and everything else is there's the hitch all this comes off we're going to rip all of this whole piece off all of this and we're going to start and leaving this part here and bring metal down and cover it putting a short little deck on the front and then put the a-frame in so right about right there you see my finger there right about there is where a regular a-frame hitch will be which will give him a 65 35 split on the trailer's weight and we're going to reduce a lot of weight this is all heavy steel part of the original cab so when it's gone it's going to get a lot lighter and just from here about like that with my hand to the rear is what the trailer is going to be so this will carry itself very well without a problem be towed by his little f-150 uh small block in it and the interior of the trailer is a bad so we're not worried about that it's all about I'm not paying $1,500 for even a smaller trailer that can do less and he don't get to keep. This is $1,500 he gets to keep. And he wants the air conditioner on it so he can later use it as some type of a workshop. Not mine anymore. So now, inside, we have gutted it. And it's still solid. But we're ripping all of this out of it. The uh, ceiling is coming down the uh, panels and all that and what we're going to do with this is we're just going to literally just plywood over and turn this into a moving trailer for a friend of mine he is moving and i'm hooking it up for him to make into a moving trailer pretty trashy little box but good enough to haul with the problem is he's running a half ton pickup and uh when you run a half ton pickup this this is too heavy so the uh the guy that did this apparently didn't know his ass from a hole in the ground because this hitch it's a pintle pretty dumb um is not any good for what it's there for so we're going to be chopping this front somewhere about in here i might look for where a structural point is but somewhere about right in here this is almost this is a 75 25 so the point in which the axle is at it should be about a about a 56 57 percent should be this direction and about uh 43 44 45 percent should be this direction and it's not it is definitely right at 75 80 percent up front all of it which makes the tongue weight on this thing incredible i think it's right at about 900 pounds tongue weight on this half ton truck ain't gonna fly but by cutting off 
about 300 pounds of weight and moving this back and redoing it. As you can see under there, all the structural, um, original crap. A lot of stuff will come off of here. This original engine mount, uh, that'll all come off. And we're just going to go back to that one right there, that frame where the frame gets bigger and beefier. And we're going to hook onto it and come out with an A-frame. So it'll be five foot, seven inches further back is what I measured there. None of this will be here, and it'll start here. We're even going to just chop these running boards off um, and just patch every hole. This is aluminum. It's not fiberglass, and we're going to go over every hole. Now, this is to show you how idiot Winnebago was. They built all of this totally uninsulated, all their uh, drainage, everything, all their water systems, it was this was a crap design this is this right here is steel on aluminum steel on really stupid it corroded even the aluminum underneath that that's ate it up down there we're not interested in that we're just gonna roll metal over the top shoot rivets or screws in it close it up and that's it it will travel like this with all of his things in it loaded which can be used I'm sure for something else later so, all right, guys, y'all look towards this one. I'm going to do it quick. We'll be in here about two days. He wanted that air conditioner, so it will land on the roof of it. These lights, I found all the wiring inside, so we'll have the original tail lights and the original windows and all that, just like he has it. Just nothing changed. Um, we might pull windows and put sheet metal on it to reduce weight. He's going to come look at it. And this one is going to be... Project Scrapabago. <laughs> That's about the best way I can put it. And all these lights up front won't be kept. Just the corner marker lights. That's it. That's all we're required by law, and that's all we need. All right, y'all be good. Right, Emma?